Good morning, options traders. Steve Gans here with a new trade idea in the Start to Finish series. So let me share my premise with you. Now, these are always paper trades, but my premise is that the Qs, this is a chart of the Qs. The Qs are incredibly strong. Our overall market has been incredibly strong and bullish. And there's a couple things that I feel are kind of catalysts making this continue to be stronger. One of them is NVIDIA, and specifically how NVIDIA just had a 10 for 1 stock split. Usually after a stock split, and more and more people can now buy shares of a stock like NVIDIA, they start piling into those. On top of that, we have Apple's major announcements where they're starting to use AI, and AI is going to work best on newer phones. So we may get a little bit of a what I'll call a super cycle there. Uh, with people potentially buying new Apple phones going into the end of this year as well. And then the third thing that tends to drive the markets here is in an election year, regardless of, of who's running and the dynamics, in an election year, the market tends to run the few months going into the actual election. So for all those reasons, I am bullish on the queues and I want to uh, do an options trade that reflects that. So, in doing something like that, I come in to my option strat, a tool that I use very, very regularly. And then I look specifically for this one, I'm going to look at the optimize tab. So given all those premises that I just gave you that I'm interested in the queues, I can put in a target price. So my target price here in the queues might be, I think 470, maybe 475 in the next month and a half, something along those lines. So let me just put in here 470. And this will show me an entire host of different positions that I may want to consider given that I'm bullish on the queues. But some of these, if I look at them, some of them require large amounts of collateral, like this one requires $44,000. $45,000 to put this trade on, $10,000 to put this trade on. So what if I'm limited in the budget that I have or the amount that I'm willing to risk in a trade? Well, I can come in here and I can say, you know what? I want this to be $1,000. I don't want to put any more than that into a specific trade. This will instantly sort down the types of trades that will fit my particular criteria. So now that it's narrowed it down to these two trades, a bull call spread, basically where we're buying a call and then selling a higher up call, or the bull put spread, where we are selling a put and then buying a lower put, if we look at these two, I can look at the characteristics of them right here. I can see that this particular trade gives me a 42% return on my risk and a potential $282 profit for a 668 risk. This one, 137 in profit for a 363 risk. This one has a little higher chance of working out in 63 versus 57. So I can look at these two and kind of decide what do I feel most comfortable with. Well, it's kind of a toss up here, which I would expect it to be between a bull call spread and a bull put spread. So I'm gonna tend to lean toward the bull put spread. I'm gonna open this up in Builder. So now that I have this basic trade that I kind of like the concept of, and the reason I selected this one over the other one is I tend to lean toward things where theta is working in my favor, decay is working in my favor. In other words, I don't necessarily in this case have to have this option go higher or, <clears throat> excuse me, this underlying go higher. I just can't have it drop below my break even point, which is down here around 456. So if we stay above that point as time marches on, and this thing decays, I can reach my profit here uh, relatively easily with, again, assuming that the underlying just doesn't tank on me. So that's why I'm going to go with this particular trade, very simple trade. Now, I may very well juice this trade along the way. If our market cooperates and this thing moves up 
or just kind of stays in this general area for maybe a week or two, I may come in and add to this trade in certain ways. The most likely way may be to add a call spread to the upside. I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit here right now, but I always like to look at a trade when I enter it and try to think about, well, what would I do if? And in this case, I'm looking at what would I do if in fact the market cooperates and runs up and maybe I want the potential of getting more than just the $142 out of this trade. Maybe there's ways that I can improve that situation if it starts off in my favor. So that's it for right now. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to save this trade and um, I'll just put a launch date here of 6 11, 24 and launched bull put spread. And then I'm gonna go ahead, save this trade in the start to finish series and then I'll copy this link. I'll share the link in the description down below with everyone. And again, if you like this sort of content, if this sort of thing kind of helps you understand to see how options are working in a real-time environment, um, give me a comment, give me a like, let me know. Thanks so much, everyone. Take care.